name's Fran Cooper and I'm going to give you a bit of an update on uh, what's happening with our Max upgrade. Um, first of all, there's been a very big or substantial time uh, hold up on this project that I hadn't anticipated. Uh, it's been partly my fault uh, and it's also been manufacturer's fault as well. So you might ask, uh, what do I mean by that? Well, <coughs> on my side of the fence, I've had some medical issues which I've had to deal with over the last couple of months and still am at the moment. So that's um, put a bit of a dent in the timeline. Uh, I have been trying to motor on, but unfortunately um, it's become a bit of a difficult thing. But anyway, um, we're now back and uh, into it. So I'm going to go through the process of what we've done. We've actually uh, got all of our MIP uh, finished. We're uh, just waiting now on our MCP and EFASES, which are being manufactured by Sismo. Uh, and they're in the process of updating the MCP to um, more uh, to, to function correctly as a MAX. So that's, uh, that's happening as we speak, and hopefully the base plate for the pedestal uh, will be ready, and that's specifically for the Max as well, will be ready next week as well. So I bought nearly all of my pedestal um, uh, parts, so I'm just waiting for all of them to arrive, and we'll be um, manufacturing the pedestal case itself uh, to uh, house all those so um, our MIP is nearly finished, we're just waiting on uh, a few parts for it. Our pedestal is uh, going to be a while yet. Uh, our overheads, I've ordered uh, proper uh, switches for the overhead. So what I'll do now is we'll just do a quickie on the, uh, the two overheads. I'll show you what's happening with the two overheads and, um, and then we'll wrap up at the end. Okay, so here's a small update on the main instrument panel. Uh, so we've got all of our monitors in. We've now got the rear plate mounted that consists of our base plate, uh, our uh, FO's base plate, and the FC1 and the uh, Bodner car. Uh, what we'll be doing next is mounting our monitor packs, uh, power packs, and then I'll be working out the length of all of our HDMI cables, the two cables that I'll need for my um, two CDUs, uh, and then we'll be finishing off all the cabling that goes up into the back and connects into this um, main base plate unit. Once that's done, we'll be putting these units in, which are the uh, glare wings. And once the glare wings are in, it's a bit dark in here, I'm sorry. Uh, once the glare wings are in, we'll be pretty much getting to the end of it. Um, I'll just see if I can throw some light on here. Okay, so we've got a little bit of light now. As you can see, all of our, um, our panels are on in the main instrument panel, our undercarriage handle, those were steering, IFDS, uh, IFSD, and everything is ready and functional. So now uh, I'm still waiting on my MCP and twin EFASs to go in here, and then we'll finish off the rest of the lighting that goes in here. But all of this, uh, all these modules here, don't need any wiring, they're automatically hooked up via the cable system that goes around in the back and up to that uh, main base plate and then from the main base plate everything comes out via this um, Wi-Fi connection or sorry RJ45 uh, Cat6 cable so um, it's getting there once of course I'm finished this um, main instrument panel it's going to we'll be putting our pulling our yokes back forward and it'll slide back in there and be installed into the um, the shell 
and then the big long job of reconstructing all the shell internal internally will begin um, so yeah we're very very close now uh, to getting our main instrument panel in and it's looking really nice I'm very impressed with the way it's come out so I'm gonna keep trucking along and um, hopefully um, that part of it will be finished and we'll be moving on to our pedestal which will be the next major major item that we deal with Right, so here is our forward overhead. Um, you'll notice that these switches are just straight up and down switches. They're beautiful switches manufactured by OC, I think, or someone like that. Um, but they're not locking toggles. And of course, the six here, as well as the fuel switches, are supposed to be locking toggles. So they are going to be changed over. I've brought all the switches to change them over. They'll be done. Our forward panel for the... <coughs> lights uh, because the Max only has two lights um, that panel is going to be modified now so that's in the process we also have a couple of other panels which are being modified this panel up here which has got an extra um, extra enunciator on it this panel down here where the EGT gauge was is uh, going to have a blank put on it uh, a couple of panels over here have got extra uh, enunciators and this panel above the air conditioning panel the two ram door uh, enunciators are removed for the um, for the max so that's what we'll be doing there uh, and our rear overhead um, there's a couple of different panels that are going to be changed and removed on it um, there's a panel down the bottom here which is for the spoiler system so that will be uh, modified uh, as well as this panel here the main EEC panel uh, I've bought a complete brand new one for that which will slip in there um, our leading edge devices I bought a beautiful panel from Ton, Ton um, oh, wish I'm, Chak Chai um, from HCBC a home cockpit builders um, cockpit builders site, the forum, uh, and he's a he's a magic guy. Lives in Tha uh, Thailand, and fabulous little bloke produces fabulous little items. So that's going in there. Uh, I'm going to leave my overheads as the way they are at the moment, which is with um, FDS cards on them. But eventually, what will happen is that I'll be swapping the entire sim over to uh, full RJ45 and uh, we'll go full full Sismo so we've got the um, the main instrument panel pedestal all the bottom end is all Sismo now and then in the later stages what we'll do is we'll swap this all over to Sismo and change over then uh, as well we've got a couple other things happening pretty exciting um, our liners uh, I've been pretty unhappy with the FDS liners for quite a while, so uh, we're going to manufacture entire new liners. Um, these will be made by myself, and uh, I, I did the, the original ones in the first sim that I made. So I'm going to make them again, and make them more like the real thing. And um, the overhead section, that'll remain the same, but just the main liners themselves. Um, and we're going to finish off the rear part of the uh, cabin. So we'll have um, a proper wall in there. Uh, I'm going to put a door, a cabin door, um, with a little Easter egg in there, which we'll tell you about later on. And a, we're going to put a jump seat in as well in the back, on the back wall. Uh, and then enclose that aft section of the um, cabin. Uh, that's about it. Oh, one more thing. We've got um, a beautiful AeroSim solution tiller to go in to replace the rather problematic uh, OC one that I've got in there at the moment. So this little devil is um, huge and very, very well manufactured, as Gwyn does all of his uh, equipment. So that'll be going in to replace the tiller that's currently uh, running in the sim now.
Uh, and I think that's just about it. Oh, we've got a um, update going on on our pedals as well, our rudder pedals. Going to put all bearings through those rudder pe pedals and um, give them another spruce up as well and put new pots in them. And, uh, and that's about it. So we've just about covered the entire uh, shell and uh, entire cockpit. And um, it's had a full upgrade. So we are looking at probably Christmas time now for uh, our first flight. Um, the the uh, avionics suite um, that I'll be using is uh, being manufactured at the moment and should be released um, in the coming months, hopefully. So um, we're in no great hurry. We want to make things uh, right and want to make sure that it's uh, it's true to the uh, to, to the max. So that's what we're going to do. So um, that's about it. That's the full roundup at the moment, what's happening. So hopefully you'll hang in there and hopefully we'll be having our first flights around about Christmas time 2019. So until then, I'll, I'll probably have some more updates, uh, probably once we get the, the main instrument panel in. Uh, I'll be doing testing of all of the, um, the cables, um, the computer which has now been modified to run all of that um, visual system on the main instrument panel. Uh, and just make sure that's all right before we put it in place. So, um, yeah, until then, um, that's all for now, and hopefully we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.